you today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sin, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contract of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us into everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to be below good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. You alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, we are pleased to give us the shining example of the Holy Family. Graciously grant that we may imitate them in practicing the virtues of family life and in the bonds of charity. And so, in the joy of your house, delight one day in eternal rewards. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Gentleness, 
and patient, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If one has a grievance against another, as the Lord has forgiven you, so must you do also. And over all these put on love that is the bond of perfection. And let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you are also called in one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. The word of the Lord. Thanks, thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. Let the peace of Christ control your hearts. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. St. Teresa of Calcutta told the story of a little girl she found on the street. She took the child into the Missionaries of Charity Children's Home and gave her clean clothes, good food, and a nice place to stay. After a few hours, she ran away, and it was a few days before Mother Teresa found her again. She brought her back to the home The sister who followed her discovered that the little girl was fleeing back to her mother, who was, who was poor and that she lived in the streets under a tree and had meager food. When asked why she ran away, the girl replied, I could not live without my mother. She loves me. The whole time the child was with the missionaries, she did not smile. But with her mother, she was always smiling.
to others as an example of God's love. We must show this in all, in all that we do and say to each other and to those outside our family. As a family, we seek to honor and obey God. We follow his design for families and his will for our own family. The Holy Family is the model of the ideal family. Their devotion to each other is unequal and their obedience to God is perfect. Mary did not need to be purified because she was full of grace. And Jesus did not need to be consecrated to God because he was God. Still they were obedient to God's laws. As we honor the Holy Family today, let us consider our own families and the gift we are to each other. Despite hardships, disappointments, or disagreements, may our hearts be filled with gratitude as we prepare to unite as one. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours 
may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our ways and for all his holy church. We offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice of consolation, humbly asking that through the intercession of the Virgin Mother of God and St. Joseph, you may establish our families firmly in your grace and in your peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. And it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the feast of this awful mystery, though invisible, in his own divine nature. He has appeared visibly in ours, and begotten before all ages, he has begun to exist in time, so that raising up in himself all that was passed down, he might restore unity to all creation and call straight humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all of the angels and saints we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Leonard, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Bruce, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that Bruce, who is united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Through him and with him and in him, 
O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And at our Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May this mingling of the body of our Lord Jesus Christ truly bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, now bring us to judgment and condemnation. Through your loving mercy, give us protection, mind and body, and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Why am I but only you say the word and the soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ and the blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. Bring those refreshed with this heavenly sacrament, most merciful Father, to imitate constantly the example of the Holy Family, so that after the trials of this world, we may share their company forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God do him we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of Heavenly Host, by the power of God, among the of Satan, and all of the spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, in the gospel we hear, the voice of the Father telling us to listen to you. It is your voice that we heed. It is your way that we follow. It is your spirit who leads us into all truth. Look kindly upon your church in the Archdiocese of Hartford and upon the work of our Archdiocesan Synod. We pray that through the Synod our souls may be stirred and our hearts set on fire in order to bring new energy and zeal to the mission of our local church. May the Synod inspire us to missionary discipleship so that filled with the faith and the boldness of the Apostles and those first Christians, we may draw others to you and to your body and bride of the church. At Pentecost, Mary, your mother, joined the Apostles in imploring the gifts of the Holy Spirit. By her prayers, those of her spouse, St. Joseph, our patron, may the same Holy Spirit inspire and direct us and the work of our synod. Through you, Lord Jesus, we give glory to the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless each one of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, our Mass is ended. Have a beautiful day, a good week, stay safe and well. And just as a reminder, where you're sitting, please place your kneelers down so we can sterilize those.